Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Thalia and for today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about glitter. I'm going to be talking to you guys about loose glitter versus pressed glitter and which one I think is better and why and the pros and cons to both because there definitely is pros and cons to both of them. It's just that I have my preference and we're going to get into that. So I hope this video isn't too long. We're gonna go ahead and get started with my pressed glitter palette so this is the only palette like full-on palette that I have that has pressed glitters and this is by beauty creations and it's the unicorn dream glitter palette and this is what it looks like it is gorgeous I love this this was so inexpensive guys beauty creations is definitely one of the it's like a more affordable brand I guess you can say um, their products Okay, if you guys hear background noise, I'm so sorry. It's my neighbors and there's a lot of cars and whatever. Um, Beauty Creations is online only for the most part, but I think you can find their products now like at, I don't know, like um, I'll go ahead and list their information down below, but that's where I started buying their products. Okay, on Shop Hush. So you can find their products there. They have a website. Um, they're at LA iMats, so that's where I buy some of my things too whenever I go once a year. And this recently launched, like within the last two months for sure, I would say. And yeah, it's really affordable. I've never tried a pressed glitter palette before. I have tried pressed glitters, but not in the form of a palette and not by Beauty Creations. So when this came out, I was so excited and I really do like this palette a lot, guys. I will just say that... I, pressed glitters are not my favorite so for whatever reason I feel that they're not as vibrant on the eyes as a loose glitter um, whenever I try to go in with my NYX glitter primer which has always worked for me with my loose glitters it just does not work um, it'll stick but it'll become way too sticky to the point where my eyelids crease which is unheard of for me that has never happened with loose glitters but um any pressed glitter that i use with my primer will crease so what i do is i just take my finger like so i dab it into the product grab it on there and then i just go into my eyelid and then just dab it on there as is with no primer no duo glue nothing like that which duo glue is also a great adhesive for glitter if you don't have a glitter primer or if you don't want to buy one or you don't use glitter a lot so you don't think you need a glitter primer but i definitely recommend this stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and link this down below i've been using this for years like three years now and i love it i even have a backup guys of the nyx glitter primer because it's amazing for glitter but it's also amazing for eyeshadow so whenever i do like a cut crease and um, I, whatever the case is, I don't want to use concealer. I always use this stuff and it works so amazing. It makes my eyeshadow pop. And yeah, it looks really good. So that's that. Um, another thing about loose glitter, I'm sorry, pressed glitter that I will say is that it can get a little bit more expensive. So I was on a glitter injection site right now and their loose glitter starts at $8 and then their pressed glitter starts at $12. So it's a little bit more expensive and in my opinion, I don't think it's worth it. However, one pro that I will say about pressed glitter is that it's not messy. So you're not going to have a whole bunch of fallout. You don't have to be extra careful when applying it like you do have to be with the loose glitter so we're gonna go ahead and move on to that uh the loose glitter now so two of my favorite brands that make loose glitter is beauty creations and nyx these are both like five bucks or under their websites are always having sales at ulta you can find nyx products for buy one get one half off 40 percent off like the deals are just ridiculous they always have coupons you can use so that is why I choose to stick with my more affordable glitters because I feel like glitters are like one of those things where you don't need to buy like the high end. I don't think it's worth it. Um, I don't think anyone can tell. Whenever I'm wearing my affordable glitters, guys, there people always stop me to ask me what I'm wearing. Like, oh, how would I do that? And when I tell them what I have on my eyes, they kind of look disappointed like, oh okay but i don't know what they expect like i'm not rich i have a son i am not gonna be buying nothing that's too expensive because like i can't justify that you know so anastasia beverly hills recently came out with some glitters they're 15 each and it looks like the same amount of product as my nyx for five so 
like I can't wrap my head around that like why would I buy that unless I went into like Sephora and I saw them and I was like oh shit that's a beautiful color like I've never seen that color maybe I just might do it but until then I'm good with my affordable glitters and um, the two ways that I like to apply these is with my NYX primer and if I don't have that or whatever the case may be because I have run out of this before and it is the worst I will go in with my duo I don't recommend it though because it does it's like messier like to clean up it's um you're tugging on your eye a lot and that's not good because that's causing wrinkles but that's how i like to apply my glitters and then um whenever you're going to be working with loose glitter i would recommend to you um to do your eye makeup first and then do your face after because if you do have fallout what you can do is you can go in with tape and then just like pick out like tap it on your face and it'll pick up every single glitter particle that didn't make it onto your eyes so that is one way to do it um i've also put on my glitter before with my ingla duraline so that works as well but i love this primer okay so yeah that's that um to apply my glitters i like to use flat small brushes synthetic is fine um anything will work really um but with the press i definitely like to go in with my finger um, so yeah, uh, which one do I like most? Definitely loose. Is pressed still good? Yes, it is, but it's not as intense for me. It creases with a primer. It's mess free though. I'll give it that. But yeah, I definitely love loose glitter. So I'll go ahead and link my favorite glitters down below and their companies and the NYX primer because you do need this in your life. And yeah, that's basically all that I have to say. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you're new and welcome. My name is Thalia. I'll go ahead and have my contact info down below if you want to follow me on Instagram or if you want to email me. And yeah, if you guys have any video requests, please leave them down below as well because I want to get back on my YouTube grind because I miss YouTube. It's so much fun making videos. Or if you guys want a tutorial on this look or whatever. And I know I'm not wearing glitter, but... I have to go pick up my son like right now so i'm gonna go ahead and head out but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys all in my next video bye